The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, or short for Global Goals, are an urgent call for unified global partnership and action by all countries across the world, whether developing or developed. It recognizes that ending poverty and other deprivations must go hand in hand with strategies that improve health, education, reduce inequalities, and also revitalize economic growth, all while tackling climate change and working to preserve our oceans and forests. Yes, it is a huge undertaking. In this video, we're going to take a very different approach when it comes to nuclear technologies. We're going to see them from a different perspective, not only a baseload clean electricity source that helps mitigate the effects of climate change, but also we're going to take a step back and see that global perspective. More specifically, I'm going to deep dive into the 17 sustainable developmental goals by the United Nations and go through how nuclear technologies are making a positive impact on our globe in every single one of those domains. Hey friends, my name is Osama. I have a background in nuclear engineering. And if you're new to my channel, I help demystify nuclear technologies by simplifying them. I also provide educational resources like this video. Before we jump into how nuclear technologies can help us achieve these 17 goals, let's understand where these global goals come from. Well, to give a quick summary, all United Nations members in the year 2015 adopted the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Now, at the heart of this agenda were the 17 Sustainable Developmental Goals. Let's do a quick round of the Sustainable Development Goals. We'll start off with number one, ending poverty. Number two, good health and well-being, zero hunger, providing clean water and sanitation, climate action, gender equality, affordable, clean energy, life on land, life on water, quality education, decent work and economic growth, industry innovation and infrastructure, reduced inequality, sustainable cities, responsible consumption and production, peace, justice, and strong institutions, and lastly, partnerships for these goals. Okay, let's start with the first developmental goal, which is zero poverty. Now at the moment, 700 million people across the world have access to zero electricity. Yes, none at all. And billions worldwide have access to only unreliable electricity. Now what this does in global society is it produces large inequalities amongst people. Because if you don't have electricity, you don't have access to running water, you don't have access to the internet, which inhibits your business opportunities and education as well. Now, nuclear power is great because it provides both affordable and reliable electricity at scale, okay? All with zero greenhouse gas emissions and without the air pollution. Investments in nuclear technologies both improves economies at scale and provides employment opportunities as well, all while helping the world reduce its poverty. I think the solution for poverty, a big part of that solution is actually electricity access and filling in that gap of inequality that exists across the world at this moment. Our second goal is zero hunger. Now worldwide, 822 million people are affected by malnourishment with approximately 9 million of which die every single year from hunger or hunger related diseases. Now, what is the issue? One of the major issues is 40% of the crop yield and livestock are lost due to pests and diseases. Now, nuclear technologies are great for fighting against these pests and helping to avoid the use of pesticides and other very harmful chemicals, which can impact people's health in general. Fresh food lasts longer when it's irradiated, killing off E. coli, salmonella, and other harmful bacteria. Nuclear technologies have also been used to develop new plant breeds, which means farmers can grow crops which require less water and ultimately are more resistant to the impacts of climate change. So ultimately, number two, zero hunger. Let's jump into number three, which is good health and well-being. Nuclear power reactors and research reactors alike produce radiomedical isotopes. Now these isotopes are used for cancer therapy and are also used as tracer materials to detect prostate cancers and other various cancers across the body. Also, they're used to sterilize medical equipment. In regards to the COVID-19 pandemic played a very important role. Also worldwide, around 40 million nuclear medicine procedures are performed each year. Hence, nuclear technologies provide a considerable benefit to the overall health and well-being of people across the world. Lastly, affordability of these radioisotopes are because of nuclear power reactors, which produce radiomedical isotopes on a large scale. So that's another really important point. Number four is quality education. Now, quality education is an asset across the world, and the nuclear energy industry is no exception. It provides both long-term and high-skilled jobs. Now, companies 
across the world in the nuclear energy industry, both in utility and also vendors, they invest in training and education to encourage the development of that workforce that can both construct these power plants, operate them and ultimately decommission them. I personally had the chance to experience two years of undergraduate experience working in the nuclear industry in various roles in both utility and vendor. And this was great because, you know, enhanced my educational opportunities and was really a valuable asset for me landing a full-time job in the industry. Number five is gender equality. So when it comes to disadvantages for clean and reliable electricity access, it creates great inequalities in societies. And especially this has a disproportional impact when it comes to women and girls. Now, globally, the nuclear energy industry has significant in initiatives on the ground to encourage young women to move into STEM careers. And there's some great organizations which you can check out, which are WEN, Women in Nuclear, also uh, Mothers for Nuclear. You can check out these organizations in the link below. Number six is clean water and sanitation. Now, the World Health Organization predicts that just in a few years, in the year 2025, half of the world's population will be living in water-stressed areas. Now, annually, 5 million people die per year due to unclean drinking water. So this is a huge problem. And the solution is desalination. You take water from the oceans, you remove the salt and purify it, and you provide that to a large population. Now, the issue is that most desalination plants use fossil fuels as the main power supply to desalinate water. And as we know, fossil fuels create harmful greenhouse gas emissions. Now, nuclear reactors, they can be used to both produce electricity and also the leftover heat can be used to desalinate ocean water. So if we deploy these reactors on scale to desalinate water and have fresh drinking water for large populations, that will serve a huge benefit to mankind. Number seven is affordable and clean energy. Like I said before, millions of people across the world have access to zero electricity. And this reduces opportunities for education, agriculture, business, industry, and healthcare. Now, ultimately, nuclear power projects are long-term investments. The nuclear reactors can last up to 80 years or operate for even beyond that which is incredible. Also, when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing, nuclear power reactors are running 24 seven around the clock. Now this provides a large amount of clean, reliable and affordable energy, which is great for developing nations across the world. Number eight is decent work and economic growth. Now jobs in the nuclear energy industry go beyond just operations of a plant. It's also construction of that plant. It's operating that plant, decommissioning it, and thousands more in the supply chain process, which provide parts and other expertise to operations of the nuclear facilities. Now, this is a broad investment that provides tens of thousands of jobs across a region, okay? So decent work and economic growth is another very important pillar when it comes to nuclear power. And number nine is industry innovation and infrastructure. Now, when it comes to the nuclear energy industry, it is one of the most innovative industries in the world. You're seeing new technologies being developed at the moment, like small modular reactors, generation four reactors, recycling nuclear fuels, new innovative nuclear isotopes, nuclear fusion projects, nuclear batteries. You know, I can go on and on. Even current day nuclear reactors are being optimized in regards to their performance by new nuclear fuel technologies that are being implemented. So number nine is industry, innovation, and infrastructure. Number 10 is reduced inequalities. As we're seeing right now in the world, fossil fuel volatility in prices is having a significant impact when it comes to energy affordability in different areas across the world. So nuclear power technologies, they allow countries with limited domestic fuel reserves to have greater control over their energy systems, okay? Another advantage of nuclear energy is that fuel costs for nuclear power plants make up less than 10% of the overall cost of electricity generation. So variations in the cost of uranium have a smaller impact when it comes to electricity generation. Now, nuclear fuel has a diverse supply chain and it can also be stored safely on site. Now, this ultimately reduces inequalities because on the ground level, regular people like myself and you are the ones that are actually paying the bill when it comes to energy costs. We don't necessarily want political situations and fluctuations in uh, markets to have that impact on us. Number 11 is sustainable cities and communities. Now over half of the world's population, especially in cities, is enduring worsening air pollution. Nuclear power plants have prevented an estimated 1.8 million 
air pollution related deaths between 1971 to 2009. Yes, it's incredible. Nuclear reactors, they can also uniquely be used for district heating, which at the moment fossil fuels are being used for that. This is great for large cities. Also nuclear energy can facilitate that sustainable shift to that of electric vehicles, which on a large scale across the world is taking place at the moment. So yes, you'd rather fill up your Tesla from energy coming from nuclear reactors, which is clean and zero greenhouse gas emissions, rather than that of fossil fuels. So overall, nuclear power technologies, they help create sustainable cities and communities. Number 12 is responsible consumption and production. So it's important to see how an energy source can impact different areas and different environments, uh, and also to look at the entire life cycle. So the amount of space that a nuclear plant requires is significantly less as compared to other clean energy sources. Also nuclear power plants are use the most efficient use of materials like concretes, steels, and other raw materials in regards to the per unit electricity that's produced as compared to other clean energy resources as well. So this is great for the environment and also preserving wildlife habitats across the world. Producing energy from a very energy dense resource like that of uranium also comes with its benefits. Number one is there's a lot less waste that's produced. That waste can easily be managed. Number three is that the fuel, the spent fuel can actually be reprocessed to create more fuel for future reactors. And what you'll see right now is that fun fact, 17% of France at the moment is powered through the nuclear waste that's coming and reprocessed from its current fleet of reactors. So yes, you can see entire countries that are running on reprocessed uranium. Number 13 is climate action. And as we know, climate change is one of the biggest challenges of our modern day society. And 7 million people die per year as a result of fossil fuel emissions, a majority of which are coming from energy production. Now, nuclear energy is really powerful force in combating climate change as it, every single year, nuclear power plants across the world help avoid the emissions of 2 billion tons of CO2 emissions that would have been in place if fossil fuel plants were running. 2 billion tons of carbon dioxide is the emissions equivalent to around 520 million vehicles, half the vehicles on planet Earth. Yes, and that's every single year. Obviously, this compounds into a significant advantage for climate change. Like I said before, nuclear energy produces zero greenhouse gas emissions during the generation of that power. And this is great because this is a very powerful tool that can both mitigate the risks and impacts of climate change. Number 14 is life below water. Now, deploying nuclear power reactors across the world is significantly reducing the amount of carbon dioxide that's let out into the environment. And nuclear reactors, in, in a sense, reduce ocean acidification caused by that of burning fossil fuels. Ocean acidification has a significantly negative impact when it comes to the habitat and food chains of marine life. Now, this ocean is very sensitive to the amount of CO2 that's in the environment. It has already absorbed half of the CO2 that has been emitted by fossil fuels. Now, on the other hand, nuclear technology has some of the most effective technologies in monitoring health of oceans. Now, marine pollutants like heavy metals, pesticides, these can all be monitored through nuclear technologies. So both in the energy front and the monitoring and diagnostic front, nuclear technologies are helping life below water. Number 15 is life on land. Now, like I said before, nuclear power plants take up a very small amount of space in regards to other clean energy sources. Now, this is incredible because this leaves more space for nature to be preserved and also for natural habitats. The world's forests are very important in helping keep climate change in check. The reason why is because they help absorb a third of all carbon dioxide emissions that are released. Now, uniquely, nuclear technologies are also deployed to assess soil quality and also research how crops take up nutrients. This ultimately has led to the development of more efficient soil management and crop production models. So again, similar to that of marine life, life on land is benefiting not only from nuclear power uh, power plants taking up less space and producing zero greenhouse gas emissions and preserving those natural habitats but also deployment of technologies which can help sustain life on land number 16 is peace justice and strong institutions now national nuclear power programs play a very important role 
because they help in the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons. Now, the IAEA, the International Atomic Energy Agency, hosts and conducts various inspections at sites across the world. Now, these inspections make sure that no fissile material is being diverted for the use of nuclear weapons. Also, nuclear technologies are also widely used to detect both drugs and weapons. As a result, this helps in maintaining peace, justice, and strong institutions across the world, especially in the nuclear energy industry. And last but not least is partnerships for these goals. Now, no organization can do this alone. You need a combined effort from government, civil society, scientists, academia, private sector to bring together the expertise and work together in a solid synergy toward this common goal. Now, I know I spoke a lot about nuclear power reactors throughout this video and sustainability. If you're interested in learning more about nuclear power technologies, I suggest you check out this video up above. It is an incredible video which goes through an overview of some of the three most popular reactor types across the world. Hope you enjoy this video and till then take care thanks for watching